नेचर इज पेंटिंग फॉर अस डे आफ्टर डे पिक्चर ऑफ इनफाइनाइट ब्यूटी कीपिंग दिस इन माइंड टूडे वी विल स्टार्ट चैप्टर थ्री अर्थ चेंजिंग अर्थ द अर्थ क्रस्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सेवरल लार्ज स्मॉल रिजिड इरेगुलरली शेव प्लेट्स विच आर नोन एज लिथॉस्फेरिक प्लेट्स द मूवमेंट ऑफ दीज प्लेट्स कॉजेज चेंजेज इन द इंटीरियर एज वेल एज ऑन द एक्सटीरियर ऑफ द अर्थ नोन एज एंडोजेनिक एंड एक्जोजेनिक फोर्सेज एंडोजेनिक मीन्स इन साइड एंड एक्जो मीन्स आउटसाइड जेनिक मीन्स ऑरिजिन एंडोजेनिक फोर्सेज फर्दर कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू सडन फोर्सेज एंड डायस्ट्रॉफिक फोर्सेज सडन फोर्सेज आर अर्थ क्वेक वॉलकैनो एंड लैंड स्लाइड्स डायस्ट्रॉफिक फोर्सेज कॉज बिल्डिंग ऑफ माउंटेन्स एक्सेट्रा हिमालयन रेंज इन इंडिया इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दीज टाइप ऑफ फोर्सेज एंड ऑल्सो नोन एज यंग फोल माउंटेन एक्जोजेनिक फोर्सेज आर क्लासीफाइड इन टू इरोजनल एंड डिपोजिशनल फीचर्स इट्स एग्जाम्पल्स आर रिवर विंड सी वेव्स एंड ग्लेशियर्स दिस इज द पिक्चर ऑफ एन एक्टिव वॉल कैनो यू विल सी गैस एश एंड मैगमा आर कमिंग आउट ऑफ क्रैटर एंड वेंट मैगमा चैम्बर इज एट द मेंटल बिलो क्रस्ट when this lava cools it converts into igneous rocks you have already read it in previous chapter the only active volcano in india is in andaman nicobar island second endogenic force is earthquake you sometime feel sudden jerk while sitting that might be due to earthquake let's read about its origin focus is the point of origin of earthquake within the crust or mantle epicenter is the point where seismic waves reach the surface in newspaper you have read about the scale of earthquake you might be thinking how they get the idea about it seismograph is the instrument which make it possible to find and measure the scale of earthquake its science is known as seismology three type of earthquake waves are p waves or longitudinal waves s wave or transverse wave l waves or surface wave we should prepare ourselves for such type of natural disasters you must take shelter under any safe spot stay away from those things which may hurt you like mirror pictures etc you should spread awareness among your friend and family so that they can also face this situation bravely and confidently major landforms like river etc are created by weathering erosion and deposition weathering the process at knee or near earth surface that cause rocks to break down erosion the process of removing earth material from their original site through weathering and transport deposition causes the formation of glacial moraine in mountainous region and sea beaches at shore river how been an important part of our life since stone age from its source sometimes in mountainous region it forms a waterfall twisting and turning of river forms large bends known as meanders when these meander loops cut off from the river it forms an oxbow lake in plains you might have seen few lakes or fresh water pond near a river these meander used to be the result of flood or when river changes its path when other small rivers join main river they are known as tributaries and when main river divides into different channels is known as distributaries at the mouth river forms delta and joins the sea or ocean like rivers sea waves also have erosional features creating sea caves sea arcs stark etc depositional features cause the formation of sea beaches continuous wave actions erode the rocks at the sea shore first it forms caves later sea arcs further erosion breaks the roof and only wall are left these features are known as stars sediments carried by the sea waves form sea beaches when ice glaciers carry rock sand silt depositing it somewhere these are known as glacial moraines mushroom rock In desert these are very common erosional features done by wind the wind erodes the lower section of the rock more than the upper part which create the mushroom like structure why is it so 
because sand particles in it make the wind heavy and erode only the lower part sand dunes and loess are the two other features of landforms in deserts the wind lifts and transports sand from one place to another creating a low hill like structure people used to lose their ways in desert in ancient period making of sand dunes was the reason of that previously nomads used to get the idea about direction with the help of sand dunes as they did not have any compass but there is no problem now due to technological development when the sand deposited in large area it is known as loess its large deposits are found in china so loess are bigger feature of in comparison to sand dunes now that's all for today thank you